also one of the people I have gone on quite a bit, especially as like people that have taught me how to do custom geo stuff and you know kind of got me to try out new things and stuff it's void runner now void runner has some of the most awesome looking custom geo uh that i've ever seen and some of the actually some of the first custom geo maps i've experienced were from void runner so you know that there's there's that now um there's one particular series that I only played the first one, and there's some funny stories behind it. So when I played Outcast M1, the very first time I played it, I managed to glitch into a wall so bad that I couldn't finish the map, which is kind of extraordinary considering that Void Runner's maps are, I happen to know for a fact, are tested to, like just humongous degrees so being able to find a glitch is like being able to find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and having the leprechaun agree that you're allowed to keep it i mean very very rare um so in any case outcast m1 i finally turned around i played it again as part of my stfu and play series and i finally beat it and now i'm going to move on to outcast m2 finally and <laughs> play the next part of the series so this is by void runner that map id is qw49 ht7h um you know and you know that's for the just in case you're not one of the 3300 people people that have played this board um it really is a, a you know a, a ter- you know a pretty cool thing there i i wouldn't know but in any case let's take a look at that author profile uh void runner has played five days and three hours of snap map content accumulated over six hundred thirty-four thousand snap map points uh looking to be, he's currently the author of 18 total published maps and is rocking a net percent upvote rate which is well deserved We're in for a treat uh in any case You know, let's go ahead and start this mission and go into the Castle of Despair in Outcast M2. Love the old school music. All right, so we got the Red Cross. We got a bunch of armor, uh, a chain gun on a button, which is just a great sign that uh, something's going to happen. All right, let's just take a look around here. Uh, Let's have fun storming the castle. This is a great looking castle. I love this other thing, too, that Void Runner manages to do that I have yet to kind of fully master, which is the the ability to kind of lean Geo to, like, create these cool angles uh, that I have yet to figure out how to do accurately. Uh, but it's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and party time. All right, old Painless is waiting, guys. Let's do this. Ooh, boy, a little glory kill party over here. Yeah. You know what? In all this excitement, I totally forgot to check my weapon wheel. That was not a wise thing to do. Alright. Uh, Alright, how we doing on health so far? Alright, not bad, not bad. Let's see here, we do not have a plasma, but ooh, we got the old die show! Let's have some fun! Goodness, there's a whole mess of crazies going on here. Well, he recovered just in time, huh? That'll do. Well, I like I like that these uh, the, the bad guys are kind of doing all the work for me here, which is nice. Kind of by running around, I can kind of get them to sort of shoot at each other, which uh, is helpful. Saves me ammo and time and effort. Just go around sort of glory killing dudes. And uh, I don't mind doing that, although I gotta keep uh, keep an eye on my health, because uh, that tactic ain't gonna work forever. I'm not fooled for a second. I'm about to get into the poop real second real quick here, so. And uh, I don't know if this is gonna be a uh, uh, apparently there is a chainsaw around here somewhere that I missed. Guessing, uh, yeah, there we go. Hey, all right. Seems obvious now, <laughs> but. That was cool. Yeah, all right. 
call me Willy Wonka, because I'm a jawbreaker. Yeah. That made perfect sense. Shut up. Alright. Oof. Man, these guys aren't giving me health on kill on glory kills, are they? Nah, probably not. Alright, well, hey. That's okay. That's how we learn. Oh, well, I totally forgot that I had the chainsaw in my second position. I was trying to do that. Alright, guys. Pacing off just slightly, just slightly. Yeah. All right, a little bit for you there. All right. All right, who else? Who else? More of you. More Pinky Poodles here. Pinky Poodle Doodle. This is the actual name of a band from Japan, as it turns out. They're pretty cool, I guess. Ah, I dig them. I demand your quickening. Give, bring it up. All right, yeah, come on. Yep. We get back to you. Yeah. That is a timeless joke. All right. We got a big dude, all right. We got the this, and oh yeah, we also have the. Um, let's uh, grab this gas tank. All right, yeah, uh huh. This is all very interesting, sir. You make some excellent points, but uh, I have this. So, all right, did that do the thing? Perfect. All right, hey, only died once. How about that? All right. Go ahead and get fueled up here. Get some, get some bits and bobs. Uh, let's see. Little, uh, some electricity going on over here. Anything else fun over here? All right, no. All right, and we appear to have everything we need to have some fun in the next section. So, oh, oh, well, that's cool. Oh man, that is some detail right there. Look at that. So, right down to the little sconces. Oh, that's... Oh, my goodness. The sconces are even cool. All right. All right. I have my choice of two doors. They both lead the same place. Should have known. Hi, faces. All right. All right. So, we're just going to... Oh, well. All right. Let's do this. All right. Said glory kill about that. Alright, right. rip and tear dog on it. Yeah, okay, a little more of this. You get a little more of that. Loop. Turn your face into soup. And go watch some F Troop. And fly into my chicken coop. And why, oh, mate? Makes about as much sense as a sequel to Gladiator. Holy cow. Alright, now, um. There we go. Floop. Kapowie. Okay. All right. That got a little hot there for me. Okay. Things are definitely going into crazy town here. And it is all shooty bastards. Oh, my goodness.
You guys are trying to give me eye surgery from across the room. That was very nice of you guys, but uh, I'm set, thanks. You are not covered by my HMO. All right, over there. Yeah, one for you. There we go. All right. Hmm. What's well, over here? I'm sure I'll find out. All right. Boop, boop, boop. And after this, I'm going to have to start looking for some health goodies. All right, I saw one over here. There we go. Okay. Uh, where was that other one? There it is. Okay, so it's not going to really do great things for me, but... Hey, every little bit counts, am I right? Of course I'm right. Always right. Except for when I'm wrong. Which is never, because I'm always right. Read the memo. Alright, I think I got everybody. Awesome sauce. Alright. That. Okay, we got some blinking over here. There's some glowy bits. And oh man, I always love these staircases here. Those are so cool. Alright, get the health and the armor that didn't help him, apparently. Okay. Uh, and... Space time. And now we are on top of the castle. Stumpy. Feeling pretty stumpy. Alright, so we are not going to deal with you just yet. Alright. That's just fun. Just arcing these little mortars into these guys. All right, now we'll deal with you, and uh, let's let's save ammo. Just spam a couple rockets into your face. All right, and you got hosed. All right. Okay, so this looks like it's gonna be a little bit on the crazier side here. Right. Whoa! Hey, alright. Wow! Okay. Alright. Oh, jeez! Holy crosses! Alright. Let's just head up here onto this lip here. <laughs> this looks like a slightly safer place to be. Alright. Alright, and uh, let's save myself some ammo for later. This seems like a good opportunity to go ahead and just... Uh, Pepper the ground with these here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get me. You can't get me. Uh huh. Well, okay, so he can get me apparently. See what we can do about that. I don't feel like being gotten right now. I'm not in a gaudy mood. All right. So uh, did I eat up all the health up here? Yes, I think I did. So uh, we're gonna have to risk it. Okay, let's head over there for that. Get armored up over here. Maybe refill a couple of these. Um, any? Still kind of. I think I saw power-ups over there. I did. Alright. Uh, and I also saw... a... Uh, gas tank. So I can actually quick kill a couple of these guys here. Uh, grab the gas. And another one. Alright. More gas. 
And we'll save this just in case we run into a Baron. Uh, Alright, back up to the top, I think. Alright. Killing Revenance in the dark. How romantic. Yeah. back. I got you back, buddy. I'm your buddy. I got you back. Yeah, now I got your face. I'm your buddy. I got your face. That is not a colloquialism, so that joke doesn't make any sense. Alright, so I got some more bullets over here for guns that use bullets, I guess. Alright, so I, I, he seems to have been gotten okay. Alright, so here's where saving myself some chainsaw ammo made some sense. All right, and uh, that is out of ammo. All right, so time to think some things through here. Um, and I seem to have used up all my health goodies. I'm it. Had to happen sometime. But the upside of that is more chainsaw juice. Alright. Okay, duck on up here. Uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, why not? Alright, and uh, did that get... Nope, there's still a Baron. Okay. Well, we won't worry about hitting this right this very second, because we've got bigger fish to fry here. Yeah, I won't say bigger fish, just more annoying fish. You know. Like a puffer fish that keeps it inviting itself over to watch Game of Thrones. Uh, not that that ever happens to me. I do get people to do that, they're just never aquatic life. I do not live in a pineapple on the sea, contrary to what you may have heard from others. All right, so. Took care of that. That was fun to take care of. Now what? Oh, really, man, this board makes me want to kill more stuff. Like, <laughs> this, that's a, this is an awesome, like, well, one of the things I got to say about this board, I mean, aside from being absolutely gorgeous, I mean, I, you know, if you haven't noticed already, take a look at this. Um, but I mean, this is definitely uh, it, it, I, when you when you play a, a Void Runner board and he just throws these gigantic mobs of dudes at you, you just get in the mood to kill more dudes. And then when the dude killing is over with, you're just kind of like, well, I want more dudes to kill. And of course, I see a super health, so that means I'm about to get my wish. Oh, neat, neat. All right. Oh boy. So, and over here we have the entire demon alphabet. Every letter B means screw you. So, oh, nice. All right, so we're all full up on the things we need, I guess. So, why don't we just go ahead and fulfill our desire to kill more things. Dang. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, I don't know if I have more... Oh, yeah, more chainsaw juice to be had over here. Good. Just use that to take care of you real quick, and then... what we 
want. Oh. Oh boy. Somebody stole my kill. Oh, I hate when that happens. Alright, you guys are getting to be pests. Real, real pests. I don't want to be pestered. So let's, uh, let's just cut to the kibosh right here. Whatever that expression means. Let's just uh, chase to the cut or something. I don't know. I can't words right now. <laughs> Too busy killing hell raises. Alright, four more rockets to make them count. Yeah, that counts. Alright, so I think I might have eaten up all my armor. There's a distinct possibility. A lot of cybermanks, man. That's a lot of cybermanks. Okay, uh, do I have enough uh, chainsaw juice? I do not. Oh, and uh, I am. Oh. Okay. like he shot me through the thing, but that couldn't possibly be true, now could it? Yeah! Purr! Alright. And... On to the next one. Okay, so, I mean... Awesome board. Like I said, this is this is one of those boards that, you know, you just when you if you're in the mood to just kill hundreds and hundreds of demons in fun creative ways, this is a way to do it. Now, you know, I I've of course commented in the past on certain boards that that do throw a ton of of enemies at you. I think the most famous off of my head is the uh, Bad Trip of a Crystal Hero, I think it was called, which had over 1200 enemies in it. And it 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 wasn't fun, and the reason why is because what it came down to is just being able to spam the chains, spam an infinite chainsaw. Um, the reason why you know sort of the horde of horrors thing, the Void Runner thing, does works, is because first of all your ammo is limited, you know, so you are forced to kind of switch up tactics. Um, you know, secondly the the combinations are interesting, you know, like he doesn't just throw every enemy in the game into a big room and let you kind of figure it out because that's just chaos. You know, what, what happens is you end up with these rooms that have these themes. So you end up with like one room that's like, Reve you know, Revenants and Hellraisers. And, you know, that's a unique sort of situation that you got to plan differently for. And then another one is Cybermanx and Hellraisers. And, you know, uh, so you're dealing with the problem of like the Hellraisers that can shoot you from across the map. And on top top of that, you got the, you know, the, the Cybermanks that are throwing, you know, big old piles of goo that sort of mess up where you can land while you're dodging. You know, th these sort of combinations are, are smart, and they're they're what make the boards, you know, these crunch-all-you-want boards that Void Runner makes really interesting from a combat standpoint, you know. And it's really something I feel like, you know, is, is worth studying. It's, you know, the idea of, yeah, throw, go ahead and, like, make a map where you throw 500, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,200 enemies at a dude, you know, at your player or whatever, but... 
rather than just like just throwing everything in the book at them and hoping something clicks, you know, pick two or three enemies that sort of, you know, accentuate the attack styles of one another. And you end up with the, you know, and of course, you know, with the the room itself sort of changing shapes to, you know, uh, you know sort of work along with it. You you end up with like all these rooms where yeah, you're fighting hundreds and hundreds of dudes and while that could get boring very quickly, what happens is before it gets boring, Void, Void, Void Runner goes, "Okay, you've done enough. That you've done enough in that room. Let's go ahead and throw another scenario in you. Let you mess with that for five minutes and ten minutes, you know." And that's, I think, that's a really great design philosophy when it comes to combat. And so, you know, Outcast M2 is definitely like a good case of that happening. So, you know, once again, that's Outcast M2 by Void Runner. In case you're not one of the 3,300 people that played it, uh, and, you know, over 50% of the people that have played it have enjoyed it, clearly. Um, that map ID, one more time, is QW49HT7H, part of the Outcast series, and I definitely recommend starting with M1. And I do have, uh, I have it on good authority that M3 is currently in the works. So, you know, get caught up while you still can. And, you know, I do see the Serious Sam tag on that. I haven't played Serious Sam, but I've had it described to me. And that feels Feeling definitely does come through. So, you know, awesome, awesome snap map. Very, a lot of fun. I, I just want to kill more things now. <laughs> game over, game over, game over, game over, game over, game over, game over.